the biggest upset of all time in StarCraft 2. Then let's fly to the moon. Hey, this is Fred as Rick, but I'm also the creator of Team Goldmasters. I'm not a leader anymore. I gave away my leadership, but I still want to talk to you about the biggest upset in StarCraft 2 history, which is amazing because one of our players, Hyperion, got the biggest upset of all time in StarCraft 2. And this article is just 12 hours ago and Hyperion beat the current world champion Reyna. He went to China, play in a tournament, and just be casually the world champion, who's the reigning world champion, obviously. He's also number four in the world right now in, in just MMR sec on, on ladder worldwide, but he's the current world champion, and I mean, these guys just exchange, you know. Cyril is a really good player, but Reyna often beats him lately, so he can be considered a number one in the world, while Cyril obviously is also in the run for the number one in the world. Simpanthers, by the way, Reyna and napoleon the second account i will bring for several they're just fighting each other for the number one in the world for the last three years but reyna is really considered one of the best players in the world at least like he's the current world champion i mean what else can he do right i mean look at the differential in the rating it's 2077 the second biggest upset was 1638 differential in rating which is so sick wow uh can be so happy hyperion you made it nice i can't believe this happened so let's go through the series reina versus hyperion three to one and it goes reina starts on the top right i'm turning up the speed a bit uh, on the bottom left is hyperion from our team gold masters he's who's currently in china in a tournament um don't bully too hard please he's complaining about being bullied too hard oh reina's just laughing Reyna is always this cheeky guy. He's still, uh, I think he's uh, like 18 years old or something, not sure. Um, I saw him live too. He's a really funny and nice guy. But now he's uh, attacking very early with Zerglings, trying to get something done. And let's see how this goes. I mean, it's a best of three, so Reyna could take a map or not. We don't know. <laughs> Let's see what happens. And Reyna is actually attacking the second base, uh, which obviously is very hard to defend now with just workers. There's no real unit set, no real army, but now he has army and circlings at the same time. And he's going to defend against this, but. Now he's so behind. Uh, it's actually six workers against 70 workers. So the first game, uh, in this case, it's just it's, he already lost here because he lost too many workers. Now it's just going on, and I, obviously then Reyna wins. So we go into game two. And what actually happens here is we'll see some defense here against circling pressure by a wall up and what we see now here is a nidus worm coming down here a nidus worm that will just spill out units and make it very hard for reyna to defend sure he has some circlings but he can't really defend against the nidus because there's also banelings roaches queens and it's obviously very hard to defend and now it's one nidus so it's good and all and he also has some spines to defend here but now he can morph ravages up here also i mean he killed one base so that's very good and can prevent him from mining so now he's practically on one base and reyna is just gonna try to counter attack which actually kind of works no, there's actually right roaches here too. So not gonna work. Um the spine just moved up a bit. And Reyna's gonna make another base down there. And um, not sure how he's gonna get out of there. There's no other nidus anywhere, right? But he should really try to get a nidus up somewhere. Here the third and the fourth base. Then that could make him win. Um, we'll see what he will do. 
Oh, it's actually gonna run down. Try to kill the spine crawlers. Not not possible to do that. Still denying the mining there. And yeah. Ducklings running in. Running around. Can't really do much. And well, here's another knight that's coming down, and that's gonna be harder to defend. So there's no spine crawlers down here. Oh actually. Hmm. Well, Reina still has a chance, to be honest. Not sure how this goes. Um, Appearing is a bit ahead, but um, not much. Actually, Reina is ahead in bases right now. But uh, also, so much stress by Hyperion. Because he's always attacking. Um, I mean, he killed the main base, which is really good which uh denies upgrades for a long time um i still not gonna be able to make a plus two attack on his roaches which is so essential for a long time and four crawlers going down and actually he's switching to mutalis so all the anti-ground defense is now completely useless the mutalist can now attack from the air and now it's going to be really hard for Reyna to defend because he has to think about ground and air now which is often the doom in Cirque vs Cirque because it's so hard to defend against both um, you can often like underestimate either of them and obviously you can attack you can choose where to attack right oh he lost some mutas for no real reason. That's so sad. There's some mutas coming back now. And the game is still going on. Another base is being taken. Oh, this is such a such a weird game. Mm. And such a long game too. It's like 12 minutes. Ooh. And the spines moving around. Actually all getting destroyed. We're in getting ahead in supply. And since he has the plus two plus one soon finished, while Reyna is still waiting a long time for plus two attack, which is so important, um, the Roaches will most likely just overwhelm Reyna now just because of the upgrades, because he killed the main base. Um, obviously, the main base means he has to tech up again to get the next upgrade, so this is really hard for him. And so Hyperion is almost maxed out at 200 supply now, attacking in. And, well, really looks like he's gonna win now. <laughs> it's funny, there were some um, problems with showing the supply on the bottom. But as you can see, the supply of Reyna is dropping, and Hyperion is just remaxing, attacking at multiple spots at the same time. And he's going to win this game against a world champion. Obviously, that doesn't mean that he uh, won already, but well, taking one map of uh, Reyna is already a big achievement. So we are happy at that point. And here we go into the game three. Obviously, they're all deciding game three. And it looks like it's a 12 pool against another 12 pool. And that's really interesting. So both people try to cheese each other. One has Cheddar, one has another Labor. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Uh, and Hyperion actually makes some Zerglings while also making a gas, while Reyna trying to make a hatchery and it looks like Hyperion will just attack and he's gonna try to get some circling speed or bailing who knows right um so Reyna is gonna try to attack but obviously he also pulled first so Reyna is not going to do anything right now and since Reyna did not start 
network means PDF, we will be behind very soon. And as soon as circling speed is finished, you can also maybe make some main links. Uh, it's going to be very good shaped because having an upgrade more is so important in this StarCraft 2 game. Uh, especially circling speed can just hammer someone so hard. Um, against circling speed, you really want a wall off because you can just die so easily and actually it's gonna try to get a wall off but it might just be too late so many circlings coming and Reina is trying to build econo economy and a wall but the wall did not hold the circlings run in and they're destroying everything every single thing that Reyna has and Hyperion upset Reyna he won wow wow so thanks for watching everyone